am sufficiently stretched. I have good, good soda. Grip it and rip it. I think I'm ready to go. I think I'm ready to go. I finally got my webcam border sized properly so that it will actually border my webcam. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. No, again, I'm sorry I trapped you with robots. Sorry I trapped you with horny robots. But also I'm not sorry. But we should have we should have planned breaks a little better. My bad, Fruity. Thanks for thanks for watching Battlestar with us. <laughs> but get up, stretch, do a thing, lay down maybe. I don't know. Take care of yourself though. I totally understand. Um. <laughs> yeah, it's fine though. It's fine though. Fucking love Battlestar. And I'm really glad that everyone seems to be enjoying it. People who are familiar with it and not. <laughs> it is my all-time favorite TV show. Um, so yeah, it's fun to be able to share it with everyone. But hey, how's it going? We're back. Gonna do some Darkwood tonight. For the first time in a week? Has it been a full week since we played last? Oh goodness. Okay, hold on a second. I gotta... I gotta turn this down. Um, <gasps> you missed the rip. It's okay. I imagine I'll go through the soda pretty quick. Uh, cause I've only, I've only had the one today. So I am severely behind on my caffeine intake. There will be a second one at some point during the stream. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> not the cobwebs. Not the cobwebs. Um, I gotta... So I'm at the point where it's like, caffeine doesn't keep me awake. Or do anything. It helps me focus. And it also fends off migraines. So we're happy about that. Blueberry coffee sounds delicious, though. Uh, that was my drink of choice when I was working at the donut shop. Have I mentioned that I worked at a donut shop? Is that a job that I've talked about before? Don't remember. Doesn't matter. Um... But yeah, Darkwood, we're rusty. It's been a week. It'll be interesting. Okay, well, at least somebody hasn't heard about the donut shop. Hello, I'm Keish. I've had every job ever. Um, I've had so many different jobs, and it makes it sound like I, like, worked someplace for, like, a month and then left and went to work somewhere else. It's like, no, I, for, for the most part, most of the jobs I had were for a year, year plus. Um, I've just done a lot of weird shit. It's fine. Um. Smooth jazz. I want to replay uh, Paradise Killer. The game was very good. But yeah, Darkwood tonight. I don't got any sort of announcements. Um. Aside from, I think I mentioned it earlier, but just a reminder, uh, Friday's evening stream might start a smidge late depending on when I get home. I've got a 415 appointment for Lamia. Um, but our, and it's just a follow-up should so it shouldn't take too terribly long. Um, but it is an hour drive from my vet to my house. <laughs> so it'll be uh, it'll, we'll, we'll be cutting it close, maybe. Um, that's not all I got. Reminder, we do have the wholesome stream community challenge up. Keep trying to remind myself that that's the thing I need to remind all y'all about. And then I keep doing it bad. But this is my reminder. And I'll try and remind people about it later when more sh for more folks show up later on. Um, yeah, that's about all I got right now at the moment. Hold on, let me get the game here. Gotta take care of the llama. Gotta take care of the llama. Nah, she's doing she's doing great. Um, she's sleeping right now. She's back here sleeping in her in the man blanket. That's where she lives sometimes. <laughs> she's laying. She's got in her head. She's upside down, doing one of these numbers because that's what llamas do, like they do. Uh, how loud is the game? It looks pretty, uh, pretty loud. I guess 
menu music's always louder than the in-game stuff, isn't it? Right, we'll find out. It's fine. We'll find out. As per usual, if it's too loud, if there's anything wrong with the sound, let me know. Um, so we had issues with my mic earlier and me being too quiet, even though I hadn't touched any of the settings. Also, me? Quiet? That seems incorrect. Um, I am contemplating moving everything around in, in the loft again. Simply because I've got to figure out how best to, to show off all the stuff behind me eventually. Oh, I forgot that was there. Oh! That noise. I want to say that we organized everything so that we could just get up and go, right? Um... Right, the squish. It was mo more than it was just very loud and very sudden. Tiz! Welcome in, buddy! How are you doing? How's it going, friend? Um... Yeah, I think we've done- I think we've done all the, uh, inventory management that we need to do. There are the eyeballs, being all squishy and gross. Emmy, hello! How is everyone doing? How is it going? Thanks! I finally got it sized properly. <laughs> I had it, so, fun fact, I had the little webcam frame all done the other day. Um, but I went to go use it and set it up, put it on, and it was the wrong size. Because <laughs> why would you, why would you ever figure out what measurements you need for anything, right? Ridiculous. I think I'm gonna leave the Molotovs here. Yeah, it looks like I've- okay. We've done all the item- item management that we need to do. This is the place that we hide now, right? Um... I'm curious about this game. It is very good. We are in the second chapter of the game, so the second half of it. Um... It is spooky as shit. <laughs> and it continues to freak me out. Um... I'll say, like, I get, I get scared easily. Jump scares get me, but that's because they're jump scares. That makes sense. This has, like, genuinely unnerved me at points. Uh, fairly difficult. Very good. Um, measurements are tough and they're the bane of my existence. For real, though? Um, yeah, so it's a top-down survival horror. Sorry, I'm just gonna keep checking my inventory constantly as if that's going to change anything for me. Map, that's what I want. Um, top-down survival horror, uh, you get thrown into, or initially, you get thrown into a forest, um, and are told that you're supposed to find a key, uh, to unlock an underground passage in order to escape the forest. We have done all that, um, and now we're in a bad, bad swamp. Everything is terrible here, and we're not we're not particularly happy about it. <laughs> um, but we are just doing some generalized exploring right now. Last time, that's what we did, I'm pretty sure, is a lot of inventory management, trying to restock on supplies because I thought we were at the end of the game, figured we were going to go into a boss fight, prepped for a boss fight just to find out that it's more game. Um, <laughs> but we're now, we're fairly well settled. Um... Got lots of items in our uh, in our workshop. Lots of stuff on us. Pretty good there. So at this point, it is just exploring everything around here, isn't it? We've only really covered this half of the map, and not even like thoroughly. The random events at night are horrific. Nighttime remains the scariest part of the game. Uh, but it's done a really good job of like keeping the scares, or keeping it really tense, even during the day when it's, you just have to worry about enemies chomping on you a little too much. We... I kind of want to go up to this section. You can see my cursor, right? Yeah. I want to go up to this section and then potentially work our way back down. Um, but there were tons of ruins here. I'm hoping 
that we can find more alcohol and more rags so we can make more Molotovs. I said I wasn't gonna take these with me. I lied. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna bring them with. Um, but it looks like yeah, it looks like all of my traps are in place for the evening. That's still barricaded. That's still barricaded. And there was still a trap there. Okay. I think we're I think we're good to go. Um, and we purchased everything that we need from the three. Pretty sure. Pretty sure we purchased what we needed from the three. Body. Um yeah. We gotta find more supplies and just generally figure out where we're going. We've got... Sorry, I'm staring at the clock for a second to see if time progresses while I'm in my menu and it does not. Um, where's our journal? Right. I don't think we read any of these since we got here. Um... Note with a code. I found some code in the doctor's house. I don't know what it's for, but I hope it opens the door to his current hideout. Doctor's dead. Fucking killed him. Now I just need to grab the key from his uh, foul corpse. Then I can get the hell out of here. I need to remember to look at this more often. Uh, day 28. Through the underground tunnel. I've managed to walk a few good kilometers through the underground tunnels, but further passage is blocked by growing roots. Despite this, I feel that I'm closer to my destination. Uh, the way home. While in the underground passage, I met a peculiar man. He acted strangely, blabbered about a talking tree which emerged on a path to some house in a village. I need to investigate it. That's where we need to go, is we need to figure out how to get into the village. But from our side of things, it's all blocked off. I do like the font. Um, the swamp. Finally got out of the tunnels. The hatch sealed itself shut behind me. I am now at the swamp in an abandoned hideout. Also, as always, we got the game link if people want to wishlist and or purchase the game. Um, as well as the content warnings for what's going to be in this game. Formed, informed choices and all that. Um, that looks like a face, and that's horrifying. Found a broken compressor used to fill up oxygen tanks. Great. <laughs> Old journal. I found an abandoned journal in the swamp hideout. I've managed to mark the village with the tree on the map thanks to it. Um... Spare parts with a compressor. The old journal also included information about a cottage located near the junkyard. According to the notes, I will be able to find some spare compressor parts there. It might come in handy. Do I need to, like, blow up the wall? Um, separating me from the village? Is that why the, the compressor is important? Oh, dog. <laughs> okay, so we do need to go to this uh, cottage near the junkyard. But I think we tried to like look around up there and I couldn't really find a way to get in. I think I'm right. I mean, that would make sense. <gasps> Give me your scrap metal. Give me your metal! Where am I? Not me, constantly checking my map. <laughs> already. Hi, this is what I do in these games. It's just constant map checking. That's a, that's blocking my way. Roots, please. Also, I can hear the squishes. That's where it was. Get away from me. Please. No. Please. No, tree! <sighs> okay, it's fine. There's just a monster in the water over there. Getting ready to come after me, and I think there's something behind me. Yep, there's a fucking spider over here. Please! I missed 
but it's fine. It caught on fire anyway. Oh, I am. Oh, I am. It's burned. Fire done. <laughs> In-game sounds too loud. Do I need to turn them down at all? That's the Banshee house. That's where I died. You're already locked in your blanket. Get comfortable. Get cozy. Get secure. Make sure they can't hear you. They know you're there. I guess I don't need... I don't need this meat, do I? <gasps> it's my favorite arcade! Hey, arcade. How's it going? <laughs> How are you doing? What's going on? I have used practically all of my Molotovs, and that is a bit of an issue. I really wish I had taken that mushroom upgrade, uh, where if you eat mushrooms, you heal health. I feel like that would have been a very wise decision, but early on I was like, I just want to use all of my mushrooms for leveling up. I didn't realize that we were going to hit the cap for that as soon as we did. <laughs> Arcade ain't scared of no thing. <laughs> um, is this the way to the cottage? It is. Hello? This seems incorrect. No squishy horrors for you? Um, okay. Well, this was a dead end. Where am I supposed to go then? Here? Who are you? I'm here. Trapped. <laughs> I hate it here. Oh, I hate it here. <gasps> Jesus fuck shit. No. <laughs> Snail, please. Window is blocked by rubble. I must find a different way inside. <laughs> say, um, hold on, okay, I'm gonna turn it down just a smidge, I feel like that's just incredibly loud for you guys, and if it's not, then uh, let me know. Uh, bear trap, many nails, and planks. B, some useful scrap metal, that's here. C, gun parts, ropes, tapes, antlers, some tools, scrap metal, an old compressor, Clothes, broken axe, empty bottles, scrap metal, uh, some fine quality clothing. Is that a map for here? <laughs> thank you for the thank you for the clip, Sarah. <laughs> um Cool, great. I need a key. You need a key. <gasps> a shovel! I am not going to take all- well, I guess I will. Once I fill up this- this stack of boards, I don't think I'll take any more because we have plenty back at the- at the safe house, but shell's cracked. Maybe I could break it open? It's not going to like that, though. The roof beneath the shell is completely destroyed. The snail shell is probably also badly damaged. Maybe I would be able to get inside the cottage with the skin on its belly. It seems quite frail. Look. <laughs> Good job, you guys. Can I talk to the snail? <gasps> he's got a he's got a skull under his face. Hold on a second. Look at him. 
Look at him! I love him! Look at the little eyeballs! I don't know why you're unnerved. I think he's precious. <laughs> Who are you? Snail speech is extremely slow and slurred. He moves his jaw with great effort. It looks like it's about to fall off. His eyes sag from their sockets and dangle from side to side, trying to keep me in their sight. Why... Why are you disrupting my forced sleep? His right eye raises with great effort and wobbles. Your face. What happened to you? Snail's jaw falls so low it almost detaches itself from the rest of the body. You scared me. You barely resemble a human. You should cover yourself. What's wrong with my face? <laughs> Rude. Suddenly, I feel a subtle shiver beneath my feet. Snail's body livens up. Quiet. Hear that? Do you hear the voice? Snail tucks his head inside his shell. She calls to me. Can you hear it? Snail falls silent for a longer moment. Inside of the shell is almost completely silent. She's calling me. I'm here. Trapped. Found. Snail's body suddenly leans forward. The wooden construction of the cottage creaks under his huge bulk. I barely keep my balance. Cut me loose. Please. I need to get out of here. If you release me, I will leave. Come back tomorrow and I won't be here anymore. You can live in my home. You'll like it. You just need to cut me loose. Snail falls silent. His enormous head slowly drops to the sh uh, to the shell. Giant gleaming drops of mucus appear on his slimy skin. You need to understand my predicament. I'm unable to do anything by myself. Y'all are showering us with clips today. <laughs> my legs are numb from laying here. I can't feel my arms at all. I admit, lying in the sun gives me this strange pleasure, but it's time for me to go. Understand. I have to. Show him the photo of the road. You're going there too? Yeah, it's the penny. We got, we got our Pennywise mug today. Oh god, that's terrifying. I know, Georgie. <laughs> Covers my face perfectly. Oh. oh, wait, there we go. It's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> Just focusing on the text. I love our wiggly boy. Our caveness, what's up? <laughs> uh, you're going there too, I guess, yeah? Everyone is going there. It's the road home, after all. Can I gossip with them? They're so ugly, I feel like puking. Barely resemble a human being. Is it is it that I look more like a human being than all of the other people that we've encountered? Also, Arcade, thank you for the contribution to the Wholesome Stream. Everybody! Wholesome Stream community challenge is up! Uh, it was yesterday. Or a few days ago. Maybe a year? Sarah, thank you. I woke up in front of the house. I thought I was dreaming. I took a step and fell down. Fell straight on the roof. How did this happen? Emmy, thank you for the contribution as well. Once there was a beautiful clearing. Now everything's covered in water. I've lost my gum boots. Do you have any gum boots on you? <laughs> Emmy, Emmy's here, just dropping all the points. You've done a lot too, though, Sarah. My God. Uh. <laughs> It's fine. We like we like contribution trains. The roof beneath the shell is completely destroyed. The snail shell is probably also badly damaged. Can you not? Is this is this what he wants me to do? Maybe it won't fit inside. I need to keep trying. But I thought he wanted me to cut him free, right?
I mean, I thought he said that, like, there's nothing that I can, like, do out here, right? Like, I can't interact with the shell anymore. The part of the shell that I could break... Um... The part of the shell that I could break, I have. And the only thing that I can, like, cut free... Hold on. Excuse me. It looks like a human hand, but it's sticky and grown into the shell. A key grows out of the palm. It should be able to tear it, or easily tear it off. Give me the shed key. Is this... Thank you, guys. <laughs> I appreciate it. That's the shell, right? Why are you doing this? Oh, it's still too small. Okay, I'm gonna stop hitting him. I'm gonna stop hitting him. I think the little hand is his hand. And he's giving us the key to get through the shed. I'm putting it together. I've hurt our little buddy and I feel terrible about it. I don't like it. I don't feel great about I think he was I think he was crying and I didn't I'm sorry <laughs> so I have to cut him free what is and I got the shed key which opens this up right attached to him though so what is it attached to what are you weird pulsating growth it looks quite delicate I freed the snail but we did figure it out. Hey, bud. I feel free again. When you return here tomorrow, I won't be here anymore. I will follow her voice, and you will be able to live here. I promise. Cool. Glad, glad I could help, buddy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave now. I'm gonna leave now. Right? Free house! But how good is the house? That's the question. These remind me of the snail men, the snail folks, the snail people from uh, Bloodborne. Tonook is nothing on this. Tonook's a crook, y'all. Can't change my mind. <laughs> it's true. Tom Nook is a fucking monster. Uh, excuse me? Excuse? Excuse me. What is this? So what time is it? Okay, here, we're gonna, we're gonna test something out. Alright? Are we ready? 
Did that before the wall. <laughs> Welcome in, friend. Okay, so maybe blowing up the uh block from the other side. I mean, like, I get that, but how do you want me to do it? <gasps> Thanks. Had to uh had to fix it up somehow, right? I'm trying to break the wardrobe. That's what's happening here. I don't know if this is being successful, though. <laughs> um, I also need to unequip my, my lantern. Uh, it's also starting to get late. God, it takes us so long to aim. Is this thing gonna break or not? How many bullets can a freaking wardrobe sustain? Please. Okay, well, you know, I might as well just empty the, empty the clip, right? Cool. Fantastic. I love that for me. Um, let's go ahead and take some things. Uh, but yeah, how's it going, Bunna? How are you doing? How's everyone doing? I noticed I haven't really checked in. What's going on with y'all? Why is this place so bad? Junkyard! <gasps> Drawings! Also, that says E on it. I think I need to leave. I think I need to leave. <laughs> Get comfy. Oh no. How do I get out of here? Oh! Uh, sorry, this is... Uh, this is the, the place that was on that map that we found. So we got all the bottles and like the broken axe. Okay. I don't think I'll get anything from this, but I am gonna try anyway. I need to leave. I did get stuff. Okay. I need to leave. We need to leave now. Oh, mistakes were made. Our man is tired. No, south. I have to go south. God, I'm so far away. This is not good. Mm. <laughs> I've got a half an hour until I have to be at my house. I've got an hour and a half before... It's fine. We're here. We're here. We've made it. It's all good. Oh... <laughs> That was almost gonna be terrible. Still just cutting it extremely close. Much closer than I would I would normally like. But before I start organizing things and making stuff, let's get our wardrobe in place. <laughs> Thank you, Emmy. <laughs> oh, can I repair the shovel? Good. Great. I love that for me. Let's... 
Uh, let's make some more Molotovs. Because we need those. I don't have the resources. I need more cloth. Fuck. I'm gonna sell this barrel. Scrap's gonna get put away. That's gonna get put away. Bottle's gonna get put away. I think I wanna have both shovels on me. We'll sell that. We'll sell some of this tape. I'll make a couple of more lock picks. Put those there. Um, um, brain, please work. I'll put those there. More metal scrap there. I will make a couple of bear traps. So that we can hide them around the house. Right? Uh, uh, uh! That'll get put away. We'll take some more pills with us. Let's do... That scared the piss out of me. Let's put that there. Let's put... Someone set off a trap. Please. I just want to place it there. No, someone is breaking down a door. Now a trap has gone off. <sighs> is her buddy back? Buddy is not back. <laughs> We're not gonna hide. We're not gonna hide. traps to take that man out. human spider. I want the trap. I'll get it in the morning. It's fine. Oh. Not an earthquake. Not an earthquake. Not an earthquake. lamp go? Oh, it's over here. No, thank you. I 
I need more planks. It's fine, it's morning. It's fine, it's morning. <laughs> it's fine, it's morning. If we can never have to deal with bad Spider-Men again, I would love that for me. Ah! Please, please, it's almost daytime! It's almost daytime! Please! It's morning! <laughs> Nighttime hates me! It's fine, we survived. Everything's good! I wasn't concerned. I wasn't worried at all! I knew it was gonna be fine. Bear trap is still good. Don't gotta do anything with that bear trap. Great. I do need to repair this doorway, though. Um... <laughs> Good morning! Yes! <laughs> it's all fine. It's all fine. Goodness gracious. Let's, uh... Let's get this wardrobe away. Alright. <laughs> just, let's just touch up a little bit. Gotta fix the house just a smidge. Honestly, of all the bad nights that we've dealt with, that was not the worst. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Perfect strat to survive nighttime. Just run around the house, scream a bunch, and it'll and it'll work out just fine. I'm gonna keep that bear trap there. Uh. Holy shit. Okay. <gasps> Hello, Mama. My sweet bean. Let's put everything away. Since, you know, we're so good, we can survive anything now. Oh. Uh, <laughs> just a good little llama. Yeah. She has woken up and says, pay attention, human. I'm just like, mm, no, I think I'm good. Um, That's all put away. Like I said, I'm selling all of this keeping the shotgun shells, but I don't know that I'm ever gonna, like, find or make a shotgun. Got the double barrel shotgun here. I need some gun parts for it, though, but I also can't make it until I upgrade the workshop again, which I thought I found the pliers. Did I not? I mean, absolutely. Shotgun Horror 101. My aim is terrible, though. Like, I took a perk so that my aim would be bad. So that does complicate things a little bit. But don't gotta aim good if the thing is right next to you and you've got a shotgun. Um, But I am still gonna hold on to the shotgun stuff anyway. Because it's important. Let's go ahead and buy... All of this, uh, cloth, cloth. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You don't necessarily need to aim with a shotgun. Ugh, no room in the container. Okay, purchase all that, buy that. And then uh, we're, can you not? We're good on boards, but I am still gonna buy some anyway some of this because again we have more than enough oof gonna buy it anyhow we have more than enough money reputation to to kind of splurge a little bit and we're getting to the point in the game where it's I would much rather have too much than not enough um so that's fine let's put those away Scraps. Here are those. Let's make that in the Molotovs. I will not take the Molotovs with us. <laughs> Perfect. Um. 
again. I do want to kind of stock up on lock picks. I should keep two magazines on me at any given time. Just to be safe. I have plenty of I have plenty of health items on me right now. Bottles are back in there. We've got the the gun parts, which I guess we'll put there. Okay. Inventory managed. Although, I do need to put another... I need to put these out where they belong. Um, game. Rude. So we've got... Sorry, hold on. How do I get over there? I'm concerned that if I try to sneak past, I'm gonna get got. I guess I'll have to like go like the long way, right? Those are still barricaded. Uh, let's go ahead and turn that off. That is more full than I thought it would be. Which, like, no complaints here, honestly. But. I still want to figure out how to clear away the darkness on this. But I don't know how. I don't know why I'm clicking like that. Let's put... Yeah, I have more than enough boards. I think we're good on boards for a while. Um, I've got the shovels for the junkyard, but we need to go up to the... Back to the cottage. Let's put a bear trap there. Let's close our door. Um, and then... You know what? A bear trap here wouldn't be bad either. But I liked having it here as well. Because at least with that barricade on the right this one they have to get through the barricade and the door I think no let's just go ahead and make one now okay um we need we need more scrap we gotta start item hunting again. That's fine. That's fine. We got lots of places to look, though, so I'm not terribly concerned. So I guess let's go to... Let's go to the cottage? Actually, I know we just kind of started, but I gotta use the restroom. So we're gonna take a short break. Give me, like, two minutes. And then we'll be back! And we'll do more dark wood, and it'll be terrifying and awful, and nothing bad will ever happen. It'll be great. Don't worry about it.
Okay, I am back. Kitties are being ridiculous right now. Anywho. <gasps> Thanks! <laughs> oh. I had to tend to Lamia for a minute. Sorry, let me get the game back up and running. All right. All right. Let's let's freaking do this. Okay, so we've got plan is to go back to the cottage near the junkyard, right? See what's going on there. Get the parts that we need for the uh compressor. Hole? Hole has meat. Meat hole. No, bad tree. I feeling pretty good about things that are going on. I wish that our stamina was a little better. You would think, with as much running as this man does, that he would be a little a little better equipped to run for more than like five seconds. Dog, please. Alas, that is not the case. Don't go there. That is a trap. There is a monster in there. Alligator lizard boy. Shit. Oh, fuck. That's a dead end. Shit. My guy. I can't get out of the fucking water. There's two of them. Some bullshit. This is some absolute bullshit. <sighs> what is happening? What is happening? What the fuck? Game's broke. Please. Please, when I reload you, please actually let me be able to play. Swamp said, no more. No more. And it was a problem. Um, <laughs> and that was a big issue for all of us. <laughs> the void isn't supposed to happen to me. The void is only supposed to happen to Emmy. Um... Okay, good. <sighs> well, 
not good, but... <laughs> I didn't want to visit, though! I didn't want to visit! How am I supposed to get my stuff back? Fuck off, tree. Oh, no, Mushroom Man! <laughs> It's an interesting, uh, blood pattern. <laughs> I do have- I do have both of my shovels on me. Okay. It's not great, but it's not as bad as it could be. Um, it was so square. It's like he said, I'm going to contain my mess. And he did. We appreciated it. We like a clean mushroom man. Go ahead and clean up a trash pit. You did a sleep good. I'm glad you got a nap in. That's important. That is a lot of nails. <gasps> Thank you. Random dead man leaving caches of good, good supplies for me. I appreciate you, random man. Okay, where are we? We can continue off this way. Just a little nap's better than no nap, though. Generally speaking. <gasps> there are my things. There are my things! Beautiful. Okay, well... <laughs> it's fun that way, though. It's a surprise every time. Okay, is the cottage entrance here? What was that? No, these were the ruins. And that still won't open. And I think the cottage was over this way. It's not bodies that I can look at. No. Give me all of your stuff. <laughs> uh, where was it? I thought it was off to the left of these. Maybe it was to the right. I don't remember at this point, and that's a problem. No, there it is. Okay. So it is off to the right of the ruins. Ferdy, you miss Snail Friend. We love Snail Friend. I love Snail Friend. Arcade loves Snail Friend. Emmy and Sarah aren't as convinced. It's true! Emmy, did, you both did a clip. Emmy and Sarah both did a clip. Um. <gasps> Snail Friend's gone! Fruity! Why do you hate snail friends? We have nothing to eat since the flood. I've caught some snails and frogs. Better than the, uh, better this than nothing. I'm out of the crosswords I found last year in the old wardrobe at the junkyard. The only thing that's left is to continue writing the journal and listening to the strange radio. In two days I will visit the junkyard again. Maybe I'll finally find a tape recorder or something that will allow me to record this single or uh, this weird signal. I feel there's some meaning hidden behind it. <laughs> sure, snails are awful for plants, but I freaking love- I love Snail Friend. Snail Friend was definitely hiding a skeleton inside him, and that was pretty cool. 
Uh, I'm hungry. I'm eating grass whatever I find in the water. I've seen some strange men between the trees. They are not locals. They do not hide. They were dressed in strange clothes, but I was too far to take a better look. Besides, I'm alone, and there were at least three of them. Maybe I'm delusional? Maybe these old ruins aren't empty. I found a blank tape and a broken tape recorder. Maybe I can fix it and do something with it. I've also found some other useful things. I've, uh, I've written them down and left them for later. I don't have the strength to wear them all on my back. Is it possible that the radio tower emits this strange signal? It's been a couple of years since it's been turned over. The woods have blocked the way to it. But no other signal reaches the place from outside. It must be that tower. I need to take a break from this radio. I hear this voice everywhere. It's strangely familiar. I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> radio tower. A lot of rusty radio equipment is strewn on the floor. Old recorders and destroyed tapes. Everything is covered in goo, dripping from the leaky ceiling. Um, dry corpse overgrown with small roots. Great. Love that. Perfect. I would like to leave. here. <laughs> I was told that there was something that could fix my compressor here, though. They lied. So I definitely didn't get something to fix the compressor with. So that's a little frustrating. Maybe it's in the junkyard. It's in the junkyard. Never mind. Okay. Um. Also, again, I feel like we managed to get pliers. But my... Uh. But my workshop isn't upgraded. And so... I'm inclined to think that maybe we didn't. Which would be unfortunate, but, you know, it is what it is. Where's the radio tower? That's so far away! <laughs> Game. Mean. Is that a shiny stone? Gib. Um, we should... Explore the junkyard a little more. Maybe get some more stuff. Our inventory is pretty full, though. So I don't know how much I'm actually going to be able to, like, take with me. But I don't think it would hurt to, like, dig up some more piles. And then probably head back. Game. Come on. Um. Here, we'll do this. No. We'll do it like this instead. It's unfortunate, but I would much rather just take the scrap and have it all fit into a single uh, spot than have the bear traps take up sp space. And it's not like I made the trap, so I'm technically still not losing any scrap. I'm still coming out on top, right? Give me the wire. Um... Gotta keep an eye on the time. Pile. I need this man to, like, stop breathing so heavily. <laughs> like, please. Just... 
Mm, what can I what can I drop? I technically don't need any more rope, do I? Don't need any more fabric, but it does sell for a decent amount. Let get rid of the stone. Let's take the antlers. No, actually, because the stone is worth more than the antlers. Where did that stone go? Shiny stone. I would. I would throw perfect throw away perfectly good antlers. There's the compressor parts! Shit. Okay, well, that can go away. Um, and I definitely need these, so we're gonna take all of that instead. Beautiful. It is time to head home. I hate the swamp so much. I know I keep saying it, but honestly, I <laughs> hate it. The water is miserable. I can't move quickly and it just eats up all my freaking stamina trying to get out of it. I understand why it does that, but it doesn't mean I don't hate it for it. Because I do. I do hate it for it. Okay, we're heading in the right direction. My goodness. Let's, uh... Let's get home. Got here much faster than I was anticipating, but that's fine, because that gives us a chance to repair the compressor. Could refill any uh, empty oxygen tanks here. I don't have any empty oxygen tanks. Uh... good thing about the swamp is that if we absolutely had to, we could. No. Fruity, no. Fruity, no. <laughs> Wrong. Incorrect. Didn't. Did not work perfectly. You're wrong. I was wrong. Hold on. What am I doing? I'm trying to, like, put my inventory back in the way that I like to have it. <laughs> Please. Can we please just organize it nicely and neatly? I'm gonna move those that way. I have too many boards. That's not an issue I ever thought I would have, but here we are. It is a problem. We do have a lot of cloth now, so we can make some Molotovs and that's extremely exciting. I do love that for us. There we go. We are gonna need to buy some more gas come morning, though. Uh, it's true. You do have to have the watch up here, right in the top right, or you're a monster. Those are the rules. <laughs> These are just facts, okay? I don't, I don't make the rules. I am going to sell all of this fabric and I'm going to sell the shiny stone and I'm going to sell all of this rope because I don't think I need rope for and anything. And that's a raw fact. It's true. It's true. 100% accurate. Um. Let's actually let's put that in there, but we're going to finish. We're going to have a whole new stack. A whole fresh stack of uh, wonderful little things. <gasps> Take your time, Sarah. We'll be here when you get back. Okay, I think inventory is managed. It's great. We do got a little bit of time to spare. I love that for us. Um, let's go ahead and turn that on. Let's go ahead and close that up. Actually, hi, Lamia. What's up, my kitten? 
<laughs> I also forgot, but when we, like, first loaded in, we were right next to it, so the second I, like, turned around, it made that noise, and it was very loud and very terrifying, and I was not prepared. Um, you also missed our first night back. There were Spider-Men everywhere, and it wasn't great. They all kept asking to, to kiss me, like Spider-Man kisses Mary Jane, and I was like, I don't know you like that. No. And they were upset about it? Spider arms everywhere. It was bad. It was a bad time. We survived, but barely. Also, I want to, like, fix this. I want to straighten this out. There's no, like, way for me to do that. <laughs> That's fine, I guess. Okay. Hello? Hi, Lamia. Got this cat over here yelling at me. Um, Knuckles is a spider arm. <laughs> Prove me wrong. Don't know that I like that. Hi. Oh, what are you doing, kitten? Hold on a second. Lamia. We're not having issues again, are we? Just a moment. Sorry. I don't know. She's she's being a weirdo right now. She's been doing great for Sarah's for Sarah's Lamia update. She's been doing fine all of this week. She's I mean, she sleeps a lot, but that's just her anyway. But when she's awake, she's running around, she's playing with things, she's making noise, <laughs> she's being a troublemaker. Um I just put down some treats for her to see if that's going to distract her for a little bit. But she was like <laughs> she was jumping into the cat box and then jumping out and then jumping back in, but wasn't wasn't trying to go to the bathroom. So I was. She might just be like getting mad at me and knows that that is a way for me to for her to force my attention onto her. So just gonna keep an eye on her. Oh no! <laughs> but yeah, no, she's doing. She's been doing fine. Um. She's street hunting right now. I'm watching her as I'm telling you about this because I want to, like, gauge what, what she's doing. It now just makes me, like, extremely anxious when I see her hopping in and out of the box because it's like, are you having a problem again? But it's fine. I have a follow-up with our vet on Friday. 
But she's been doing she's been doing great. Her energy is about the same that she usually she usually does is. Um, she's been playing. She snuggles with me at night. Demands attention throughout the day. Yeah. I bet she's doing it because I'm not paying attention to her. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But if I keep just like looking over there, that's what's going on. <laughs> um. So yeah. Oh, Sarah reminding reminding everyone about the the community challenge. Thank you, Fruity, for the contribution. Um, so yeah, don't mind me if I look a little sketchy just constantly being like, it's me just checking on the cat. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think you mean an ooblets racket. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll keep everyone posted. Thank you for the, for the redemption, Sarah. I know how much we all love and care about Lamia. She's a good kid. Aren't ya? I need to do a vacuum. Looking at my floor, it's kind of gross. Usually vacuum like once or twice a week. It's not been that long since I vacuumed last. I just, I have a black carpet and lots of animals. <laughs> Are you actually gonna use the bathroom? Excuse me while I stare at my cat while she pees. Are you doing it? <laughs> it's Lamia pee time. Seem fine. Did you watch? Did you even did you even pee? Lamia, are we having a problem again? Thank you, Travis, for the contribution as well. concerned that just in general we're gonna have to do a, a whole diet change for her which is fine we can do that it just concerns me is all but that's okay if it's gonna make her feel better we'll do it yeah 
No, I think all she wanted was for her to, or for, was to get in my lap. Get some attention. Hi. Your face is all wet. It was gross. I can hear creatures stomping around outside. And I hate it. Um. They're just pacing. Not a chomper. Not a chomper. Is that the bad banshee thing? Or is that just red orb of death? Chomper has broken in. I want to move my shit back. That's too many. live in this terrifying corner now. I can see them, but they can't see me. That's behind me. You <laughs> appreciate your protection, corner. There is he's right here. I don't know if you can see him, but he's right here. Kind of phasing through the wall. He's stuck, but that's fine. Hi. What if I just live in here now? Is this the strat? Just live in this closet? I feel like that wouldn't work for centipedes though. Thing to consider. Hi, baby. I would need to bring some flares in here with me, though. In case, like, all of the, the lights go out. You know? Um. Just things to consider. Lami is very pleased right now, and it makes me extremely happy. Okay, let's... Yeah, it might be worth... <laughs> living in the closet at night. Um, and bringing some flares in. In case the centipede- or in case the lights go out. 
And then just having some, like, Molotovs or something on me in case a... Uh... A centipede shows up. Hold on, sorry. Doing a quick little, little kitty massage on her. Like, long dead end hall and a shotgun. The, my concern is, is uh, the centipedes showing up under me? Because they have been known to do that. They set off this trap too, didn't they? What other traps did they set off? Um, but we can still, we can still make that work. They also set this one off. Um. So these are all possibilities. I do kind of like talk long hallway, though. The rest of the oxygen, oxygen tanks, they're, empty, they're useless. Okay, um, let's fix everything, right? Let's, uh, let's do a quick repair of all the things. Let's put these away. I need at least two traps. To replace the very important traps that were removed. Um, this is all stuff I'm selling. Let's barricade the window. Let's fix the door. Let's repair the wardrobe. A wizard is never late. Frodo Baggins. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Your thing worked, Sarah. <laughs> Welcome back. Was it, uh, volume-wise, was it okay? Or is it a little loud? Solid sounds? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. Good. A little louder than me? That's fine. It can be a stitch louder than me. <laughs> I'll let it slide for Gandalf. It's acceptable. Okay, so we fixed that window. Put the bear trap where it belongs. Let's also replace this one down here. <laughs> in Loudon. Similar to in Biggin, but just makes you loud. Um, let's sell our things and buy some things. Let's do a trade. Uh, we definitely want more gas. I want more of these. I want more nails, although we're doing pretty okay. So maybe after today we will stop purchasing nails. Um, I do want to buy a flare. I would like to have a flare. Rags. And... Uh, yeah, I think that's all that we're gonna... Well, and I guess, again, kind of... Uh, start doing stuff. <laughs> just remember it if you ever show up to stream. Just pop that in there. But no, thank you, thank you, Sarah, for all the support. Um, I super duper appreciate it. That is like empty. <laughs> Let's just consolidate that a little bit. I appreciate you guys so much. Y'all are wonderful. Very, very happy that I've gotten to meet everyone. Um. <laughs> I would explain, like, my inventory process a little better, but I don't know how, so I don't. Um, but that's okay. It's just me trying to, like, set up and get ready for the day, figure out, like, what all I need to, to prep. I like setting ourselves up for the next night so that all I have to do is like show up, empty my inventory, and then just get comfy. <laughs> um, Alright, we've got one light in there. I have a flare set aside for when 
nighttime comes, because I think I do want to try and just hang out in here um, at night. I think that would be a wise decision. I am going to make a bear trap to set outside our door come nighttime. Is there anything else that I need? We've got... We got some Molotovs. That's great. I love that for us. We've got plenty of ammo. I've got plenty of supplies to repair all of my things at any given time. We need to refill the generator. Um, is there alcohol to get more stuff from other bases? There might be. The issue with that is I don't have the bell to call the man with the bike. Um, I had thought about bringing it with us, but I was like, it's a boss. I'm not going to need to move inventories. And so we cannot, we can't do it, which is extremely unfortunate because I thought, again, I thought about bringing it with us and then I didn't. Hi. Snuggle bug. Mommy, my leg is falling asleep, and that is a bit of a problem. Um. Okay, so everything is put away. Things are are good as far as repairs are concerned. I don't really care about our shovel, and I wouldn't say that repairing the axe at this moment is worth it. Like, it's not worth the supplies. So let's leave that as it is. And we've kind of explored this area. So I guess... It's... We kind of need to head towards the radio tower, don't we? Should we head all the way south? And then kind of... Make our way west? kind of what I'm thinking. Okay. Let's... Let's do it, I guess. I need to remember that I have skills I can use. Um, because that could have probably helped us avoid one of the deaths that, have, that we've uh, had. If I had that... If I had used the run skill that we've got. I just... Again, need to remind myself that they're there. And also not hit tab when I try to use them. Like we did that one time a couple sessions ago. It was bad. We didn't appreciate it. Okay, there's the road. So that means we're kind of in this general area. Hmm. Don't like this. I hear something. That's a chomper. Well, ah, uh, flowers. We haven't seen flowers since the wedding location. Hi, Devo. Uh, old shed. Sorry, my microphone is, like, covering... I'm gonna move my mic real fast. There we go. It was covering the top right corner of my screen, so I couldn't even see what time it was. <laughs> Rusty Barrow. There's some blurred traces inside the barrow. Looks like recently dried blood. I'm gonna dig up this hole. Also, why is it red over there? Oh, shit. <laughs> cover on my microphone fell off and it scared the piss out of me. 
Mommy, I'm moving to pick it up. That's not you off my lap. Okay. My cover jumped off. I bet that's a fun sound for y'all. <laughs> Alright. Are you gonna stay on my lap, Lamia? Good. Good. Alright, well, we found a bad old shed. There's a corpse in here. Underground key. Great. 9 volt battery, some pills, and some small caliber ammunition. What is this? Why is this? That hurts! That makes our brain go, ah! There's a corpse there, though. Okay, let's not go there, I guess. I do not want to add my corpse to that pile. Um, <gasps> sounds good, Arcade! Thanks for stopping in and saying hi, and thanks for being amazing, and I hope you get some good rest. Sleep well, friend. This is one of those instances where having my lantern out, probably a good option. The is covered with flowers of various colors. Some are fresh, the rest have been lying here for some time. Don't have a code? Hold on a second. J. Journal. Items. Not... Another one, I don't think if it's of any use, then why do I have it? Okay, well I can't do anything here right now. So that's unfortunate. What is in here though? I want in! There appears to be a journal on this table. What in there? I need the code for it. else on the body. There was blood in there and I don't see any numbers anywhere. Mm, unfortunate. Well, what is this? Oh, that kind of looks like something. I don't know. Region, probably. <laughs> okay, whatever. It's fine. Let's continue on. We're at the point in the game where we gotta do a lot of exploring before we do any, like, serious commitment to solving anything. Contrary to us having gone through the cottage mushroom glade. Excuse me? Oh, my leg's falling asleep. Lamia. I'm gonna- you can stay here. But I need to move my legs, baby. Okay. Can I look at your little ankle? You've got a little bald ankle right there. Nice and clean. Hi! Good kitty cat. I'm glad that she... Nope! Okay, okay. I'm glad that Lamia will... Generally speaking, let me move her and she'll usually stay where I put her. I should take some of these with me. I wonder what those are. Bad. Obviously bad. But I want to know what they are. 
Um, okay. Okay. All right. Look here. It is noon. I need to keep remembering to remove my lantern. have some of those. I don't, don't need to take these with me, but I'm going to. I am too far north. I don't, my shovel is not healthy enough. Unfortunate. Great Lake. How great it can it be? Ah! <laughs> Shit. Okay, well that's pretty much all of our Molotovs used. fantastic um there's so oh my god I want to be able to dig all these up an intense sweet smell of mushrooms fills the air okay but what does that mean but what does that mean game Why is the lake just a giant scribble on my map? <sighs> oh, I don't want to be here anymore. I think. didn't intend to, like, actually make it here. But we're at the radio. Mm. How do I get in there? <laughs> it's all good. It happens. Can we... Fence has been torn to shreds. Not a banshee nest. Game, please. They're sleeping, but any noise can wake them. So we came here to burgle your turks. Accurate. <gasps> Smiley, hi! How's it going? Everything is bad here! <laughs> There's monsters everywhere! And Allie! Hi, 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 hi! What time is it? Is time stopped? It's not. Time is not stopped. <laughs> I think I need to leave. I think we need to leave and we need to come back. <gasps> that's a giant, that's a giant shell. <gasps> There's definitely gonna be a Banshee Queen here. 
And she's definitely going to have killed our sweet, sweet snail friend. And I'm going to be extremely upset about that. Yeah, there's nothing up here. Okay, we need to go. It's just time to leave. We'll come back tomorrow. And finish it out here. Uh, but yeah, Smiley, Allie, hi, I love you guys. How are you doing? How are you, friends? Um, Fruity. Snail friend was great. Hi, Mama. You put my other leg to sleep now, kitten. This doesn't work well for me. I have a cat in my lap. And I love her. To pieces. But also... My freaking, freaking leg. <gasps> Let me take your stuff. I do, though... No, correction. I don't need my legs, but I do need feeling in my legs. Or at the very least, I need them to not be screaming at me about the lack of circulation that's occurring because of how I'm sitting. You, you see? It is so late. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get back. Also, thank you, Allie, for getting that shout out. Or, er, yeah. Thank you, Allie, for getting the shout out for Smiley. Sorry, my brain told me that I said names in the wrong order, but we were fine. If anybody here doesn't follow Smiley, freaking should, or I'm gonna beat you up. Smiley is sweet and delightful and wonderful. Okay. Um. This is back near the murder house, right? So if we could just leave murder house, that would be cool. Where was that? Old shed. I also need our man to, like, catch his breath. Please. I remember this mushroom. I think, unless there's another mushroom that looks exactly like it. Oh, it's bad there bad there. That's what's bad. Okay, okay. We're almost parallel with our house. So that's cool. I killed this guy! <laughs> I remember him! It was bad! <gasps> Hold on, I'll read your message in a second, Emmy. I think you said that you're heading home, though. I love you. Drive safe. Be careful. Class to the library before close. Close. Why are teachers so bad? No, I didn't mean to step on that. Please go away. Okay, we have only just managed to <laughs> to defeat that man. Um, uh, I can't with the teachers there. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, there's so much squish happening. Let's get rid of that. What time is it? 6 12. Okay, we've got a little bit of time. Oh, <gasps> thanks. It's just the color we've been doing. I'm very happy with it, though. I There was a, a very long stint in there. Uh, <laughs> where, you know, you know how sometimes we like to dye our hair because, because it makes us feel good. But you run out of the energy to, uh, <laughs> for me. You run out of the energy to do it because you're just... A big sad sack. It's kind of where I was for a little bit. 
but I finally done it and I feel so much better. Um, <laughs> this game does not, it is not, it's not what? Seven o'clock. It is eight o'clock, but it's fine. But thanks. <laughs> I didn't want this mushroom. This mushroom is trash. Batteries, also kind of trash, but that's fine. But yeah, I like I bleached my roots. I did everything. We went and we went and freaking did it. Oh, I gotta go turn the generator on. Generator is on. Okay, game. I'm gonna need you to to wait a few minutes. Okay, because I got a little bit more to do with my inventory, okay? I should have visited the well. Oh, well. I'm funny. Does this do anything? Oh, regular pills just make you breathe better. <laughs> I wish they said that, but it's fine. I'm selling them anyway. I don't care. They go in the trash! Ouch. Let's repair that. I know I said I wasn't really going to do any of this, but I'm going to repair all of them. It is important. Let's get a flare in here. Uh, what else? Some Molotovs. Should probably have some of those. Don't really need the gas there, but that's okay. And I do... Also, I need that. I need that bear trap. This. I need this. So that we can do one of these. It's hide time, y'all. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I just want to see if this is, like, a viable solution. Okay, Lamia. My sweet darling. My lovely little lumpy cat. My sweet little waffle? <laughs> with, the, with the big back feet? And the sweet sweet babiness it is baby lamia say hello <laughs> well she splays her legs out it's fine she is content i can't have you on my lap anymore okay my legs can't support you Ugh. so let's can i get you to get all snuggled up back there <sighs> <sighs> She's staying there so far. Less punch, more just flop right now. I've been I've had my legs crossed in a very uncomfortable manner in order to prop her up into my lap so that she can hang out and just snuggle with me. But uh can only do that for so long. She has, she has laid down on the man blanket. Everything is okay. Can ya? There she is! <laughs> I don't know that there's zombies right now. It sounds like dogs? Wood boards. Anti-monster for a while. I swear to God, if you break my door... Doesn't seem like they're going to. No, they're breaking this one. They're breaking this one. That's fine. It's already 3 30 in the morning, and we're doing just fine. Remember how I said I needed an extra soda? 
where I would need an extra soda partway through the stream. I need another one. Dogs aren't too bad, and they're super slow, and they're not very strong, so it takes them forever to get through barricades. So I don't know that I would call this a successful trial run of the closet. But... That's not a dog. That's probably a chomper. Traps was here somewhere. And it's morning. But we did have, so we had, uh, that human spider was attacking the metal door, right? But it's at full health. I don't know that they can get through that. So the biggest concern here is just in case, like, if a, a centipede shows up in here. I think, I think closet might be the new strat. God, I set a trap there. That's fine. <laughs> it's an acceptable loss. <laughs> we don't need feet. As Fruity pointed out to us earlier. You don't need them. <laughs> it's because I doubted the closet. The closet's like, you'll never doubt me again. You'll never doubt me again. And it's true. I will never doubt the closet ever again. Okay, let's do some minor repairs. Again, I kind of like having everything boarded up, even if I'm not... I need to fix that one. Um, even if the closet ends up being, like, a good strategy, right? Um... I appreciate having everything kind of blocked and barricaded because it does still encourage um, the monsters to go specific ways or get them distracted. And so it's just a good, good thing to have. So we'll keep doing that while I'm thinking about it. Gotta get the last of the caffeine I need for the day so I don't get a terrible migraine later. Are you all ready for this? Are you ready? Grip it and rip it. Grip it and rip it. <laughs> They're all good ones. Even the not so great ones. Mmm, soda. Hi, Devo. Why are we crying? Huh? Yo, come here. Can I pick you up real fast? I don't think everyone's seen you for a while. Come here. Mr. Gunky Nose. Look at the boy. It's the boy! Hey, no, you gotta stay here. You gotta stay here so everyone can see you. Look at the little face! He got the big purrs! It's the boy! My sweet, soft, round boy! He, is, he does have big purrs, just to reaffirm. Aww. Are you... Just a sweet, dumb kitten. Forever, baby. Hey. What are you doing? <laughs> Look at him. He has no idea. No idea. None whatsoever. 
that everybody loves him. Yeah. But you also don't know... Well, I guess you do know terror now. <laughs> you have experienced the outside. You know what it's like. Go on, sweet boy. <laughs> They're simultaneously just like the big, sweet, innocent sort of... You know, you know they haven't seen anything terrible, but then if you look a little closer, it's the it's the ten mile stare of just oh god. <laughs> uh it is. It is. Smiley. Look at look at look! Freaking look! <laughs> new overlays! <laughs> I've made I've made all new overlays. Uh, cause I finally figured out what I wanted things to actually look like. <laughs> um, tents. Tents everywhere. So many tents. And also little ghosties and little baddies. Because cause that's what we do here. <laughs> but yeah, new overlays everywhere. I gotta update the information because this is all stuff that I made. But I'm gonna see if I can convince Emmy to do a little, little something something for me. Because Emmy are good art. <laughs> um, but yeah, I finally figured out. I did. I did. Sometimes I can put nice things together. Um, but yeah, I finally figured out what, like, what kind of appearance I wanted uh, for the channel. As opposed to what I told Emmy previously, which was just a, I don't know, <laughs> make something cool. And I love what she made, and it was great and wonderful. But, uh, yeah. This is all kind of placeholders until we can figure figure out, uh, or get her to get the time to do something else for me. It's good, though. Um, right? <laughs> she, she good. She good at, she good at stuff. We love Emmy here. Don't tell her I said it, but she's great. Or do. Do tell her. Actually. Actually, tell her. <laughs> nah, Emmy's great. We love him. Okay, let's trade some stuff. Weapons. That oh, no, not my cloth. I would like to keep that. Um, but yeah, people here don't follow him. Go, go give Mayor Emmy a follow. Um, I think... I think they're planning on streaming tomorrow morning. Um, but if not, sporadically is when it will occur. They'll be around. Be there. Be square. It's gonna be great. Um, okay, let's... Tomorrow's gonna be wild, and it's gonna be great. I'm excited about it. I'm just excited about streams in general, <laughs> though. <laughs> Real talk. Just generally excited about everything. Okay, we need to put these in here. Tomorrow's also a fruity stream day. want to take all my molotovs with me, but also molotovs are really freaking effective. There's schemes going on in the background? Excuse you. You think you can just scheme without me? Excuse me. You think you can scheme and not tell me what's going on? I do think everyone that's here follows everyone. But in case y'all don't, go follow all my friends. They make good content. Um. <gasps> Is this more Age of Empires? Or just things in general? I'm excited, regardless. <laughs> of course. Everyone gets a shout out. Um, that room got gooped. I forgot that room got gooped. Um, 
That's fair. No, that's fair, Allie. A hundred percent. Um, okay. So let's... Let's try to go back to the radio tower. Um... And see what we can see. Go find the bad, bad banshee that lives there. And tell her to fuck off. Because how dare she kill our sweet friend. Um... It is 8 in the morning, so I think we've got plenty of time. Can I... Go down more? Or is it just all bad, goopy swamp here? I think it's all bad, goopy swamp. Seems like it's all bad, goopy swamp. Um... But yeah, 100%, Allie. I, I, I get it. I dig it. I understand. Gotta do the thing so that you remember to do the thing. Can I get in here? No. What if I just don't face it? Will the red hurt me? if I just don't look at it. I don't know if I was close enough or not. Cottage is surrounded by a barricade made out of old furniture and rusty barbed wire probably stolen from some fence. Game? Hold on a second. Everything freaked out for a moment. I think you guys can still see what's happening. But my computer decided it needed to go into compatibility mode for some reason. So hold on a second. Just randomly in the middle of, of me doing my thing. I love that. Okay, I'm back. We're back. I think. And I have to reset chat. I can see you guys talking, but the computer can't. My chat bot knows what's up. <laughs> oh no. Uh, let's try this. Oh, oh, it's back. We're back. We got some Gexes. We got some Mushus. We got some Scared Octos. We got some some Sarah Smiles. Alright. Okay. I love it when my computer just decides to freak out a little bit. It's wonderful. Discord fr freaked out. That's the issue. Discord decided to freeze on us entirely. So I'm just gonna end Discord. Discord, get out of here. Don't you love it? Don't you love it when that happens? It's always Discord that, like, freaks out and then freezes up the rest of my computer. And I don't know... <laughs> don't know what I can do about that other than just cope with it. But it's fine. Um... Hold on, sorry. Discord decided I needed to go hang out in the Friend Friday uh, voice chat. I exited out and then loaded back in and it's like, you're in a voice chat now, right? No, Discord, actually I'm not. <laughs> Thank you though. Oh, uh, can Steam do that too? Steam also a little funky sometimes. Okay, captions are back on. Chat is back up. It's all good. All right, come on, Discord. It's freaking Wednesday. Come on, buddy. Okay, we're good. Everything is fine. Probably. I know I said we were gonna go to the... don't want that? I know I said we were going to go to... 
the radio tower, but we're here. And there's lots of bear traps, which means that we get lots of scrap. And that's exciting. <laughs> everything's haunted. It's a freaking Wednesday. Wednesday and everything's haunted. Oh, hiccups, excuse me. Ouch. bear traps. There's this one. This is a hell of a place to have, my guy. Yep, things still bad. We started going to the, to the radio tower, um, but now we're at the swamp cottage. Discord decided to take everything over. I didn't actually want to repair that, but okay. Um, yeah, Discord decided that it needed to ruin everything for us. Intense smell of flowers fills the air. Okay, well, hold on. Is there anything over here? Hi, Devo. Need a key. None of my keys fit. Well, I need a key. None of my keys fit. Thank you for fixing our generator. You can come in. Elephants. The air is filled with a suffocating sweet odor of rot. Who are you? The woman is wearing a heavy ruined coat. Her voice is suppressed by the cracked gas mask she's wearing. A little kid there. Hi, Cyril! Thank you for the contribution to the to the wholesome stream. Also, give me just a second, cuz look at them. Look at them. Um <gasps> Smiley, thank you for the contribution as well. The washer exploded with potpourri, so I had to vacuum out the tub and all the clothes. Like, actually? <gasps> the Blitzstream almost here! How are you doing, Zero? How's it going? Can't you speak? Did someone take away your voice? Two children hide behind the woman. The younger one eyes me nervously, cowering in fear. The older one just stands there, motionless. You're not from around here. I would have recognized you. You may, uh, we may keep to ourselves, but I know everyone here. I would never forget your mug. <gasps> Glad you're doing well. I'm doing pretty alright. Day started out a little rough, but it's, uh, it's gotten significantly better as the day has gone on. Just happy to see my friends. Uh, the younger child pierces me with its eyes. The steamed visor of his gas mask betrays his rapid breathing. Uh, your gob looks like that because of it, this fiendish air, do you know? I bet you can't speak because you didn't keep your mouth shut when walking through the woods. The trees and plains are simply beautiful here, and the bushes bl uh, bloom gorgeously this time of year, but don't let the charm of this land deceive you. Devil lurks between the trees, and he gets to you through your mouth and nose. The older child's grasp on his mother's hand tightens. He does not lift his gaze from one of the hut's walls. Right, I'm on! Easy! Let's go! It's, uh... A little spooky here. And you're just going to stand there? I know you want something, you leper demon. You're not getting anything from us. I don't trust you. I don't trust you, leper gob. Do you hear me? I don't trust anyone who breathes this filthy air. The woman stares at me intensely through the cracked mask. Did you take my Marcinek? Was, uh, was it you who kidnapped him? Talk. No, that cannot be... The woman stares at the floor. Her greasy black hair drops down on her mask. It's impossible. Stupid child. He went out and never came back. 
He was on about his granny, or uh, he was on about how his granny will take him mushrooming. No idea where he, uh, where he told him he can't go outside. Told him that the devil will find him, take off his mask, and take him away. I would look for him, but she lowers her head even more, as if observing the dead flies stuck to her coat. You want my trust? Bring back Marcinek, or bring my Marcinek back. You stupid Marcinek. Uh, find him and bring him home. Here's the key to his room. You're spending a lot of time there recently. Maybe you'll be able to find something there that will lead you to him. Okay, alright. A lot happening. Can we show her the photo of the road? I remember this road. The woods devoured it about three years ago. It used to lead to our village. I walked it to school. The woman stares into the photo, hypnotized. The road home. My road home. Something exploded in the northern part of the swamp. It made the ground tremble. The devil knows what, knows what it was. See, so you're curious. Investigate it if you have a death wish. I think it happened in the junkyard. Apart from these two here in Marcinek, there's one more boy of mine. My precious darling. Blessed child. The woman rests her hands on the oxygen tanks of the children standing beside her. He, uh, his love fills our tanks with clean air. For this, we are forever grateful to him. For the clean air, for the oxygen tanks, for these beautiful masks in the book in which the devil has revealed his true image, along with his evil plan. The son took it away from the trees with his own hands and brought it here to us. What is happening? You're just like these lunatics who roam around the woods, searching for, for God knows what. There used to be more of them. I guess most of them starved to death. I remember when they appeared not far from here. Must have been around two years ago. Around two dozens of them. They were led here, or they were led by these three weirdos dressed in old rags. Set up a camp at the marsh, there between the trees. They watched our house, stared right into my windows, the oddities. Thought they wanted to kidnap my children or harm them some other way. But when the night fell, I lost sight of them. There was no one there in the morning. The youngest child, hidden behind the woman's back until now, finally finds the courage to make a small step forward. One little bear ate a little soup. A faint voice could be heard. Then the other one came and... Quiet! The woman smacks the boy in the back of his head. Punches so hard, the hood of his rubber cloak lands on his mask's visor. Not now. Not in front of the stranger. Man. Chill. Okay, I will be taking your flares. These are mine now. I am concerned for this family. Excuse me. Boy, this room. A doormat. Small bundle. A map. Primitive map. I meant to like actually look at it. Oh, what beautiful drawings! Okay, alright. Well, I think I would like to leave now. Actually, I would like to look at my map. It's just a circle. We've just got a big circle. So we somewhere over there? I guess is the implication. I am going to switch that off. They can turn it on if they want. <laughs> That's entirely up to them. Y'all. Please. I thought I had gotten all the traps. I would love it if they were all gone. My poor leg, legs, uh, plural, are probably so torn up at this point. The, the number of bear traps I have stepped on. Where? Where? No, we should absolutely 100% not go fishing. Consider? No fish? None fish. <laughs> That's the first weaver traps you've done enough damage that the rest don't hurt so bad. <laughs> oh, our poor legs. Also, thank you, Sarah. You tell them. 
Okay, I'm concerned that we are again going to run out of time to like actually do the thing. Thank you, Cyril. You also tell them. No fishing. Fishing bad. Actually. I wonder if the kid's like in the mushroom field. That would be my assumption. His picture did seem to have a lot of people with mushrooms on their heads. No, Fruity, that's wrong. You're doing it wrong? What is this? Why is there a tractor over here? I don't know where I am. I think I think you I think you missed a word in your in your little uh your little message there. I think you forgot to say no. That's a body. I thought it was a bear trap. No, none fishing. Zero fishing? <laughs> I would say minimal, but that would still imply that there would be potentially some fishing. Um, zip fishing. None. Nada. Dunzo. Okay, we are doing a little better on time this time around. <laughs> Not maximal. Okay, okay. alright. Look here. Those are still dead. Great. This is fantastic. We love that for us. None. No fishing. Y'all, this isn't even a <laughs> No. Can't. No sneak. I'm going to destroy all of these children. It's our buddy! Give me the backpack. <laughs> I think you I think you misheard. If you heard fishing, it definitely said no fishing. You just probably didn't hear the no, which is understandable. It is fairly faint. <laughs> Hugs you too, Cyril. Okay, let's Let's do the bad thing. Let's make... Let's make some poor choices. We down for that? We down for some bad... choices? <laughs> These things happen. It's all good. Let's just get rid of all the bad birds. First off. No more bad birds here. <laughs> Bad choices? I've heard of them. I am familiar with this concept. Fuck! Okay, um, this is a bit of a problem. Because... I have terrible aim. Handled. Not even an issue. 
to open it if I had a lock pick. Well, lucky for you, we got one. Give me that, give me that. We haven't slept again. Another madman came in, uh, came here at night, second one this month. He jumped over the fence and tried to ram the door with his head. I shot him in the ass with the tranquilizer. Today, we're going to transport him outside. Since that accursed tree appeared in the village, an increasing number of uh, savages roam around our hideouts. How do they know about us? They're psychos. They can barely talk. The villagers in our sector still have no clue what's going on. It's been ten years or so. But when they last, uh, when they lose it, all they need to do is go into the woods, put some mud on their face, and they come sniffing. Uh, Stefan told me that in the uh, neighboring sector, the wild ones appear mainly in the vicinity of the hideout located near the tunnel entrance. I don't think it's a coincidence. Um, like in the clover fields. <gasps> I have seen it, and I am, I, I like it. It's good. It's a good one. I like how weird it is. I love the fact that they just casually drop some big, <laughs> big kaiju in, in the middle of it. Makes me happy. Uh, it's been a minute since I've seen it, though. I would love to revisit it. Oh, old cassettes! Um. <laughs> Sounds like we need to get a Cloverfield party going on, if Cyril hasn't seen it yet. Yo, Cloverfield when? Let's go. <laughs> we should absolutely also watch the old Godzillas. I am here for it. Again, let's freaking go. What is happening here? I think I need to leave again. <laughs> Please. Man, better aim. Shit. Please. I'm gonna die. We're dead. I can't. I can't aim. Some, that's some bullshit. Um, oh, hey, the shit is spreading. Death by a thousand tiny pecks. Not great. It's not not an ideal situation. Um, I hate them. Yeah, it's not a great noise. Apologies. It's not a good noise. Um. Wow, that was extremely unfortunate. And I've dropped a lot of my items. Also extremely unfortunate. Um. God, those birds suck, though. Like, as soon as you start getting hit by them, like, that's it. You're done for. Dunzo. I'm gonna sell that. You know what? I'm gonna sell these antidotes as well. They're of no use to me. Um. Got a lot of stuff in here, though. It's not great. It's not great. I think I sh I'm gonna take the Molotovs with me, because I think that's probably gonna be the best way to handle uh, the big banshees, as well as the little, the little baby banshees. I just need them to not peck me. When I try to, when I try to show up. <gasps> Zero. This game says squish, squish, scream, squish, ah, bird, bird, squish, stinky mold. <laughs> Thank you, Zero, for the bits and the uh, delightful rendition of squish, squish, scream, squish <laughs> from, from Kim Kimrold. Love you, Kimrold. You absolute weirdo. It was good. It was very good. <laughs> the way that, that she uh, tends to interpret things. Um, definitely a choice. And we're here for it. Kimrold is a legend. Facts, though. We stand Kimrold here. Okay, let's... <laughs> Let's barricade this, because I forgot to do that previously. I freaking love Kimrold. And... Still not 
quite time to turn the generator on. We're just gonna stand around for like an hour because I don't know what else to do. It is 8.40 though, but I wanna get my stuff before, before it's too late. I wanna get my stuff before we end stream because I don't like having to do body recovery um, first thing upon coming back. Not a fan of it. Also, like, I kind of want to take the flashlight with me, but I hate that it takes up a whole space. Like, I have to actively hold it. And then I can't attack while I'm holding it. That kind of sucks. I guess it's... It's time... It is time to turn the lights on, hunker down, get comfy, get in there, wardrobe, get in there, wardrobe. Um, let's go ahead and do, we got, we got the scrap for it, and let's try to remember that it's sitting outside of, uh, sitting outside the door. No promises, though. Alright. It's time for a night. Uh, but yeah, I would like to get my body back before we end stream, so we might go a little bit over, which is fine. It's fine. Um, so how's everyone doing? How's it going? <laughs> it's fine. It's all fine. No problems here. You have a wiggle in your eyeball. Have you told it to stop? Yeah, it's a squishy game. Wiggle in the eyeball. <laughs> like your eye is twitching? Or like you can see you can see your veins? You know when the wiggle goes across. Cyril, are you? <laughs> how many how many fingers am I holding up? Little squiggle friend. <laughs> those are those are the little veins inside your eye wait no if it's the squiggles that's just that's just stuff floating on your eyeball two fingers and a wiggle <laughs> no this is not ideal We got banshees. We got a case of the banshees. <laughs> Sometimes they are loose protein chains. Yep, your eyeballs are loose. Have you considered screwing them in a little tighter? Is <laughs> no, no. Oh no. Uh, just treat your eyes like you do a light bulb. You know how sometimes it flickers because it's just come a little loose? Just screw it back in there. You'll be fine. I am an- I am an eyeball recovery expert, it's true. Need someone to write e tiny your eyes back in. Oh no. Alright, that's enough eyeball talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mustard? <laughs> Travis, are you okay? <laughs> Travis has a case of the uh, washing machine potpourri. Not the bugs. Alright, we got monsters, we got bugs, we had banshees. What more are they gonna freaking throw at us? No, bugs. 
one in mustard eyes. But I got wiggle eyes instead. Tragic. Not a crocodile. Oh, I see. I understand now. Nobody wants mustard eyes. Oh, I don't like that sound. Sometimes a bear in the glass house is for two in the bush. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. So yeah, I don't... Knock on wood. I don't think they can get me while I'm in the closet. Which just feels extremely gross. No, don't goop my house. <laughs> I got goop house. That's a hundred percent a dog. That's her forever. <laughs> Have you gooped your butthole? There's a lot happening out there right now. That's a human spider. response to all the bad that goes on out here. Alright. Alright. We have decided. This sucks. I had to waste a perfectly good Molotov to get the goop out of my house. I need more glass bottles. That's what I need. We're gonna sell those. This can go in here. It is my house. My house. This is my house. <laughs> the joys of owning a home, am I right? I wouldn't know. I'm broke. <laughs> um. <laughs> In the middle of the squish. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's a good one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, uh, Cyril. We appreciate it. All of this bad. They've broken my home. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not gonna... No, I am. I can't just leave it. I genuinely cannot just leave it. Living the dream in my shitty household. <laughs> I'll take a Cheeto. I want Cheetos so bad. Dougie always comes in here and talks about Cheetos and Doritos. And I'm just like, look. <laughs> yes. Gib. Always. No, no, no. I think I need to I think I need to go to the store and get some Cheetos though. Real talk. <laughs> I think I need some Cheetos. <laughs> I mean, they're not something that I want all the time. I just have to be in a in a very particular mood. Slash, I don't want regular Cheetos. I want the I want the jalapeno cheddo Cheetos. 
<laughs> yeah, but for or, uh, Travis, you think Cheetos are bad because of the dust, which is a very valid thing. They are messy. <laughs> I like, I like the spicy Cheeto. I like the jalapeno Cheeto. Give me the spice. I don't know. It's not often that I'm like, mm, I need me some Cheetos. But when I do, fuck, I need me some Cheetos. <laughs> no mess. Uh, okay, let's sell some shit. And let's buy some shit. Let's sell some shit. And then let's let's buy some shit. Right? We gotta get some things in here. I think it's about time that we start buying those again. Big bag of bold barbecue Doritos last night. <gasps> Despite feeling sick, were they good? shouldn't require more effort to clean up than it is to eat. Okay, but hear me out. You lick your fingers. I also understand that that doesn't work for everybody as well. I do get it. They were so good. Okay. Okay, maybe I'm gonna have to give me some Doritos instead of some Cheetos. Maybe. Just maybe. <laughs> and then you go wash your hands. But no, I get it. I do get it. I understand. Just more Cheetos for me then. I'm here for that. Um, okay. We're do we're still doing pretty dang good on items, right? But uh I do need some more Molotovs, because we're at the point again where we are all out of Molotovs. <laughs> That's a bit of a problem. Um, I think. I'm going to uh, kind of want to sell Big Stick. I do kind of want to sell Big Stick. Although I could make a second. Um... <laughs> My one weakness. My cheesy fingers. <laughs> I don't want to sell big stick. I don't know why that's making you laugh, Cyril. <laughs> it's kind of kind of weird if you ask me. I didn't actually pur purchase that. I just put it in my inventory and then walked away. No, I did buy it. Okay. Thanks, the three. Sure. Let's go ahead and make another another one of these. And then let's uh let's go ahead and upgrade this bad boy so it's increased durability and then check it out we got a, a not so great but still fairly decent a uh, little little thing going on here Ooh, I should have saved that for this one oh well <gasps> kinda wanna sell big stick Kinda wanna sell big stick. Big stick, big stick, get it away from me, no thank you. No? Kimerald asking questions is funny? <laughs> yes. Yes. The answer is yes. Kimerald asking questions is funny. <laughs> Beautiful. You love to see it. Okay, this did open up my inventory a little bit, which is pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna sell that. We're gonna sell Big Stick, all right. Hello? <laughs> no, that's my line. That's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I am gonna sell these canisters, by the way. I don't need them. I'm not using them. I'll keep one of them, but that's it. No more. Um, we'll put this here, we'll put this here. Bye, Big Stick. Say goodbye to the Big Stick. Oh, hold on. Stacks are weird. Can we get an F in chat for a big stick? Alright, here it goes. 
Goodbye, big stick. Big stick gone. They nod. They accept the trade. They're like, yeah, okay, that's weird, but okay. Um, I am gonna buy the flare and the rags. No, fruity. Incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've done it wrong it should just be no fishing it should be it should be just f or no fishing sorry you've you've uh you've done it bad also they wouldn't buy my my key that kind of sucks ishing try ishing we gotta go get our shit, and then call it here. Because it's it's basically time for us to end, right? But I also... It's too late! It's too late! Big stick gone! I'm sorry! <laughs> coffee cereal is here, is what I'm hearing. It's coffee cereal time. Even if there's no coffee involved, coffee cereal has made an appearance, and everyone needs to be on high alert. Shit's about to get wild. <laughs> Would you say Red Bull cereal is stronger, weaker, or about the same as coffee cereal? No! No! Mushroom Man! <laughs> Please, sir. That's Mushroom Man. We don't like them. They like to chase after you and go, <laughs> and it's not great. We don't, we don't appreciate it. One regular Red Bull cereal is weaker than multi cup of coffee cereal. Good to know. <laughs> Not the alter ego. Oh no. Okay, let's... I don't want to tr travel through here. This is a bad idea. Reminds you of the clown that just wanted hugs! What do you mean? Dropsy. Our sweet, sweet, darling Dropsy. <laughs> kind of like one horse sized duck or a hundred duck sized horses. <laughs> horse sized duck would be terrifying though. Also, we love Dropsy here. Dropsy, sweet, sweet boy. Look, I've got a Pennywise mug, right? But I would. I would do an actual murder for a Dropsy mug. Not an actual murder. I would punch someone, though, for a dropsy mug. <laughs> Some of the puzzles in dropsy were, were tough. Um, it was a good game, though. I think we only got stuck, like, really stuck, like, once? Would recommend. Um. <laughs> I mean, caffeine's a stimulant. Makes sense. Treat, they treat ADHD with, with stimulants. <laughs> Both get treated the, similarly, not the same. But even still. Woo! <laughs> Banshee place. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. <laughs> yeah, you tell us! I genuinely don't know, just because, like, it's not something that I've looked into. Um... DSM, DS, blah, blah, blah. DSMV is constantly getting updated, though, honestly. Because I think, like, I think technically, um, 
they're trying to like outdate borderline personality disorder and relabel it as something else which like sure i guess but it's been very fun trying to like talk to my doctors about it because it's like okay what's the nomenclature now <laughs> what are we what are we calling this thing that i have and then they just shrug at me and, and walk away and i'm like oh okay did i tell you guys oh my god uh sorry speaking of uh health things did i tell you um uh, that i did i tell you all about my polycystic stuff <laughs> Um, at all. Have I, like, discussed that at all? I don't know that I have. Which would be fine. Either way. But, um... So I've got polycystic ovarian syndrome. Well, there you go. I'll just tell y'all anyway. Um, so I've got polycystic ovarian syndrome. Which basically just means that my ovaries are cystic. Always. Constantly. And it's extremely awful and not great. And it hurts... Uh, periods are awful. I've been on birth control for years, though, to deal with it. Cool, whatever. No, bad baby. Um, but I got diagnosed with it when I was 17. Um, and had to go through, like, a whole huge, awful, harrowing process to, like, get that done. We did it. We're coping. It's cool. Um, had my doctor and, like, x-ray techs and every- or not x-ray techs, but, like, the techs who were, uh, doing, like, my ultrasound to, like, get me the diagnosis, I'll be like, yep, nope, you have this, this is a thing. Um, I am 27 years old now and recently went back to the doctor to try and address some of the symptoms that I'm having with it because, uh, my symptoms are not under control anymore and that's extremely unfortunate, but it's fine, we're being proactive about it. My doctor- had me go do another ultrasound to just check to see if my birth control was in the correct position. Um, went back in for a follow-up and she was livid because no one put my diagnosis in my fucking chart. This was 10 years ago that I got the diagnosis. This would explain why none of my, none of my doctors were like listening to me when I was like, hey, I got this, can we do something about it? And they were all like, mm, no, it seems fine to me. Have you considered losing some weight? <laughs> we, uh, so, sorry, that was my big rant about that situation. Um, so yeah, I've had a diagnosis for 10 years that my doctors have told me about, but they just never put it in my chart. Um, so that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of the f fun things about, uh, PCOS is that it makes it extremely easy to gain weight and extremely difficult to lose weight. Um, but the symptoms tend to get worse if you put on weight. Hello, that's why I'm a little heavier set. Whatever. Uh, but there was a, a, po a point in time where I was, uh, like, gaining a ton of weight very, very suddenly. Um, and tried to bring it up with my doctors and was like, hey, this is a concern of mine. Can we, like, do something? I think I remember the code to the store? Hold on a second. Before he tells us the code. Yeah, it was like, you know, this is a thing that, like, it's fine. Like, it wasn't necessarily, at that point, not necessarily me being like, ugh, wait, or whatever. But it was just like, hey, I'm noticing this. Can we address it? Um, and they were just like, well, you should work out. And you should, you should do all this stuff. And I'm not gonna get into too many details of that because I understand that uh, you know, disordered eating and stuff is a thing. I get it. Moving on. Um, but yeah, 8684. Um, but all of my doctors just kept telling me to, to work out and do all this stuff, despite me already doing an extremely rigorous, 8684, was that right? Uh, workout regimen at the time, and eating healthy, and taking care of myself and it's like okay cool all right so doctors suck and i'm having to go through the process of like getting that diagnose handled all over again um <laughs> yeah they all just kept treating like every time I, i'd go in and stuff they'd be like well are you sexually active and it's like you know i answered honestly but that i never thought 
that that was why they were asking. And every time I'd go in, I'd be like, hey, I need to get my birth control, like, fixed or, like, re-upped or whatever because of my diagnosis. And they'd just be like, oh, yes, of course. And I assumed that they knew, but apparently it was them just being, like, blowing me off. <laughs> it's great. Anywho. Yeah, uh, sorry, I saw that. Um, Smiley said that some doctors are having it. Some fucking suck. The doctor that I have right now is phenomenal and just really wonderful and extremely proactive and extremely understanding and just a wonderful human being. <laughs> so we are getting everything addressed and handled. But that's some of the health stuff that I've been been dealing with lately. Why I've been extremely stressed now. Um, so hey, if you find a good doctor, fucking hold on to them and do not let them go. Um. <laughs> See, like, for a situation like that, Allie, I can understand, like, if they, if they give you the option. Um, but it's, like, for something like this where it's, like, I do need not necessarily constant, like, medical attention, but I definitely need, like, I need it to be watched, and it's something that, like, we need to keep an eye on, um, because it increases my, my risk of a bunch of other things. <laughs> a bunch of other potential uh, medical complications and stuff like that. But it's like, I've been trying to get this treated for literally 10 years and, and no one's taking it seriously. But now we know why. Um, right? And I hate the fact that there are like all those stigmas and stuff tied to a lot of diagnoses. I get it. <laughs> as far as mental health is concerned. I've got, got a couple of the big ones. Manic depressive and have a borderline personality to just personality disorder god can't talk anymore um and like i've learned how to like manage it and i keep it very well like consolidated and stuff but like you tell people that and immediately they start freaking out and they're like oh you're one of those and it's like yeah i got i got some problems but who fucking doesn't <laughs> I am here at the hospital to try and, like, be okay. To get healthy. And not even get healthy. I don't think, like, we should all strive to be in perfect health. Because that's not viable. And also extremely gross and ableist. But it's like, I'm just trying to, like, live my best life. Please just let me live my best life. <laughs> Please and thank you. Um, you have a condition you need? so you get proper care, right? Um, we shouldn't have to not disclose our health because our health insurance also right? Fucking right? <laughs> um, totally take for granted that I can go to the doctor and get a referral somewhere and not really have to think about money. I'm taking medication. No, I totally understand, Cyril. Like, <laughs> um, I'm glad, I'm glad that you're able to get all the stuff that you need, Smiley. Honestly, I know that, uh, I don't know, I like, I know plenty of people who have a lot of medical complications or just medical conditions that they need to, to treat regularly and can't always get the things that they need. And it's just so gross how we neglect so many folks. <laughs> And it's just like, can we not? Can we just take care of each other? I don't know how I want to finish that whole rant. But I think most of you, if not all of you, understand. Fuck. <laughs> right? Just let us live and be happy. Please. Big hug at you too, Cyril. And everyone. I also just really appreciate the fact that, like... I know we don't talk about this a lot on the channel, um, but I appreciate the fact that I can and that, like, everyone here understands it and gets it. <laughs> or if they don't understand it, they're at least, like, understanding um, and compassionate and empathetic. It's wonderful. And I just wish that more people were like this. So thank you all for being beautiful, wonderful people. <laughs> um, Yes! Yeah, no, I'm really happy. I've got a bunch of appointments coming up uh, over the next couple of months to address a lot of the stuff, but I love the fact that, like, I went in... I'm gonna hop on over here for a second, since we're just 
kind of sitting here with the creepy music in the background. It's fine. Um, I love the fact that, like, I went in to meet this doctor. I've only seen her twice now. Um, but the first time I went in, I kind of went, like, guns blazing, sort of like, I'm ready to, like, I will fight someone <laughs> to get the things done that I need to get done. Um, because I've mentioned, I mentioned to, to her that I was, thank you, Feral. I mentioned to her that I was looking at potentially getting a hysterectomy. I just want the shit gone. I don't need it. I don't want any of it. Um, just let it go. You did help me prep for that. <laughs> it's true. It was, it was, uh, it was very nerve wracking, honestly. Um, and, like, I told the nurse what I was there for, and of course she did the whole, oh my god, you're so young, like, what if you change your mind about children? And I'm just like, don't, fucking don't, because I will throw hands with you, ma'am, here in the middle of this hallway, and I don't give a shit. <laughs> Let's fucking fight. Um, so that made the start of the appointment terrible, but I, like, once I got in and met with my actual doctor, I, like, opened with that. I was like, so, I want to get a hysterectomy. And she was like, okay, cool. Why? And I ran through, like, my various lists of reasons. And she's like, let's, uh... Since a lot of my reasons were just the fact that, like, my PCOS was out of control, but I also don't want children. She's like, do you... Are you cool with us looking at potential other options before we jump to that? And I was like, I mean absolutely I would love to address it in other means as well but I still want to do this and she's like okay we'll think on that so the very next time I went to the appointment um we talked about getting me a referral to uh to a gynecologist to start looking at that so my doctor is very good <laughs> also LGBTQ friendly which is wonderful um and has just been a delightful human being and just very kind and sweet and wonderful right we love we love we love it we love it just let me do what i it's my body it's not me doing things with my body is not hurting other people let me just do what i want with my body oh sarah just come out here just come out just come out to iowa it'll be fine <laughs> right i mean i would expect that just because the area that i live in is in theory very lgbtq friendly um but it's extremely performative <laughs> at times. Uh, but no, she's wonderful. I'm like in the process of trying to find a therapist, which I'm excited about. Um, I need to call a bunch of places this week. That is my plan for tomorrow. Uh, but she understood that I was having difficulties finding people and she like got in contact with our LGBTQ clinic uh, and got the head of their department to kind of send me some some referrals and I was like that's really dope love that none of them ended up <laughs> coming through they were all either full up or uh weren't a good fit for me but the fact that she's like was willing to help me with that was wonderful um <laughs> that just means that 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 particular therapist is fantastic um Travis, come to all your pre uh, prenatal appointments so he can A, remember what they tell me, B, remember that what I've complained about lately, C, help defend me against the medical bias against women and fat women in particular. Good! Travis is, Travis is a good advocate. And it sucks that, like, we have to have advocates that, <laughs> that women, in, or just anyone with a, with a freaking uterus has to, like, deal with that. But just, like, I'm glad, I'm so glad that you've got someone on, <laughs> on your side, in your corner to help you with that. That shit's wild. As I say, I've brought my, I've brought my dad to a number of my appointments before, um, to be like, yo, I need somebody who knows the terminology, understands what's going on, and is also not me <laughs> to help make a point sometimes. Um. But yeah, that's my that's my little rant about doctors and hospitals and the shit that's that's been going on in my life. Now I've, now y'all know. Now y'all know. I don't know. I wasn't necessarily like keeping it to myself because I didn't want to tell anyone. But it's just been like 
everyone's got their own shit going on. And I've been managing it pretty well, but I was just thinking about <laughs> the fact that I got diagnosed 10 years ago and it was never put in my chart. Fucking wild. Um. Anyway, thanks for listening, guys. <laughs> Also, facts! It's hard to absorb all the information that they throw at you sometimes. It's always good to have somebody there with you, even if you don't necessarily need somebody to, like, speak up for you or help defend you or anything like that. Just having an extra set of ears there <laughs> to keep track of all the information is, is good. Anyway, I love you guys. Should we, <laughs> should we finish this game up? <laughs> Me just getting mad about medical care real fast and then being like, alright, let's get back to the spooky stuff. Um, <laughs> extra seven ears. Sometimes, sometimes you just need an extra seven ears there. Extra set of ears. <laughs> Let me and all my friends in. But only let half one, like a half of one of my friends in? I don't know. Maybe they can all come in. I don't know if any of my friends are deaf in one ear. I am, kind of. <laughs> My hearing in one ear is worse than the other. Does that count? Um. And... No! A hundred percent. hundred percent valid, Allie. What is inside of the cup to the door? Oh no. Friends and Van Gogh. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna read this now. Um, no, it's good for, it's, it's, I, like I said, or I don't know if I said it, but I don't, I don't necessarily expect anyone to, like, say anything about it, or, I don't know, or even, like, necessarily respond to it, but just here, have a, have a dump. My bad. <laughs> have a dump. Oh, fuck. Um, yeah, our medical care out here, fucking garbage. Absolutely atrocious. Uh... It sucks. <laughs> but also, have you considered having a poop? I bet you'll feel better after you poop a little bit. <laughs> have a dump! <laughs> Thanks! Yeah, I mean, like, uh, it's, it's, it's all being handled, and it's not necessarily, like, anything horrific that's happening. Just, just usual stuff. <laughs> <laughs> We're poop friends, it's true. Alright, actually gonna read this thing now. <laughs> uh, 2215 hours, two people came in via the tunnel from the hideout near Village C or 3C. They were attacked. Uh, 2310 hours, the hideout near Village C 3C has been compromised. At least 12 locals have entered the hideout cellar. Mostly mud-covered savages. Three among them were wearing unusual clothing. Weird rags. Uh... We lost one man. The door to the tunnel has been shut. None of the locals managed to break through further. We're getting ready for evac. Oh. Oh, one, 30 hours. Evac successful. The door is locked with a code. We're going home. Okay, cool. <gasps> we'll be here, Cyril. Probably. I, I just kind of want to get through this section. Further path of the tunnel is blocked by enormous roots and rubble. Enormous roots and rubble. Excuse me. It's maybe a one-way road. Are you implying that I can't come back? Hold on a second. I freed the snail! Day 33. Time is stopped. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the affirmation. Uh, I found a cottage crushed by an enormous snail. It turned out that it can speak. It begged me to cut it loose. I freed the snail. The snail was paralyzed by some live tissue, sort of a umbilical cord attached to the nearby tree. I managed to destroy it. It should be able to leave in peace now. Or it should be able to leave in peace now. Crawl away or something. Um. Give me a hot second. I've been talking a lot. Uh, junkyard. Found a junkyard. Maybe I can find something of value here. Day 36. Family in oxygen masks. I met a family living inside the barricaded cottage in the swamp. A woman and two kids. Their faces are hidden behind gas masks. The woman claims the air inside the woods is poisoned. They rely on the oxygen tank for breathing. 
The lost son. The woman in the gas mask, probably the mother, has asked me to find her son. He went to see the granny about the mushrooms. The woman has given me the key to her son's room. Perhaps I'll be able to find something that will help me locate the kid. Definitely in the mushroom forest. Explosion. Something happened in the local junkyard in the northern part of the swamp. A uh, primitive map. Oh. Sorry. I... Thinking about what we saw in <laughs> in the junkyard. There was that big machine in the middle of the junkyard with a burnt up body in it. Do you think... Do you think it's our buddy? Do you think it's P.O. Truck? <laughs> Fruity. No! <laughs> he went to space. Okay. You're right, you're right. Theo Trek's in space, he's safe, he's fine. Not even an issue. Uh, primitive map, I found a primitive map in the Mass family's cottage. One of the kids must have drawn it. It's very inaccurate, almost scrawled. Looks like the kid wanted to indicate some place using it. Circle the area where that place should be on my map. Definitely in space, 100%, it's fine. <laughs> no worries. Uh, only one shot, I found a floodgate in the tunnel. I'm afraid I will only have one shot of getting further down the passage. I feel it will lead me to the right place. Well, I don't want to leave just yet. Like, I'm glad we found it. But I don't want to, I don't want to leave this. Well, I do kind of want to leave this area now, but also. This has to be the end, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Please. Allie said there were only the, the two trapters and an epilogue. So unless Allie's lying. Okay, well if that's the end... Hmm. No, it's getting late. We should... Not. We can probably have this finish... Next. Well, I don't want to wait. Okay, let's, yeah, it'll go too long if there's an epilogue. I'm just trying to think, like, well, here's the thing. I don't want to necessarily, can I break this? No. Um, I have kind of wedged this in here and that's a, that's a bit of an issue. Um, I would like, I don't want to wait until Monday, is what I'm trying to get at it. Um, I don't have a solid plan for Friday just yet, and so I guess that's the question. We did skip Friend Friday, or er, Indie Friday, last Friday to play Mirror Layers. Um... So it's been a while since we've, uh, since we've done that. But I'm cool to skip it again if we want to finish this. We are so dang close. Well, I say that. I don't actually know that. But I have a feeling. It's true. It's not like this is a triple A release. <laughs> Facts. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, are we cool with that? Do we want to finish this on, on Friday? I, please, I just want to get this out. I could have a couple of indie games ready. Um, that is true. Okay. So we'll finish this, we'll finish this out on Friday. Maybe do a couple of indie games, if we got time for it. Please. I am going to inch this out so I can just use the shortcut. Please! I mean, we are gonna go. I mean, we're already over at this point. But we're definitely gonna go even more over. <laughs> Please, game! I need this out of the way. 
I need to get home. There's like, there's like two pixels keeping it from, from getting out. Upset, upset. And I don't know where there's like an eye to like make that go away. Ugh. Oh, I don't like that sound. This is not great because it's going to take me ages to get back to the house. And I could take the long way around, but I don't want to because this is obviously supposed to be a shortcut. Not me screaming. Please, game. Don't be mean. And there's no way for me to break it. It won't let me break it. I can't. Please. See, I'll go to like, I just go through it. Also, I've like used up all of my freaking lantern. It's five o'clock, we're gonna die. Can't do it, Fedora Man can't, he's probably too full of mushrooms. And I don't think I, I can't push it through because if I could then I would have been able to like I don't know where the stupid eyeball is and it's five o'clock already we're gonna do a die and I'm a little annoyed about it unless that's it is that the eyeball Yeah, shortcut broken? Not happy. I don't know what that was for. Banshee. That's cool. I don't know where I'm going, and I don't think that this is probably, like, a good idea. Don't think this is a great idea. Uh, cause, like, if I die over here, this is just where my stuff lives, then. Oh, I'm back to- okay. I'm back here. Fantastic. Great! I love that for me. game. I mean, this would be a fairly convenient spot to, to just <laughs> eat it. So, like, this is unfortunate. must return to, hi to my hideout before nightfall. Oh, I know. Oh, I know, buddy. Uh, the trouble is, you won't let me. <laughs> Guy, have you considered letting me return to our hideout? Because, like, I would love to be able to. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just hang out over here. It's fine. Oh, 
Well, this is where we live for the evening. <laughs> this sucks. You know what? Ouch. I'm not gonna waste. Did that break it at all? No, it just caught it on fire and then was like, no, I think it's good. Great. I'm just gonna keep wiggling it though. Like, what else am I supposed to do? It's night time. We're gonna get got, and it's gonna be bad. And there's literally nothing we can do about it. How exciting is that? <laughs> Are we not amused? Yep, there's the bad. Just end me. Can't break it. Can you wedge your body in there? Nope, cannot. I tried. Ah, get me out of the goop! Game, don't start me in the goop. Okay, I gotta de-goop the house. <laughs> Well, it's fine. It is the next morning. Um, I don't know about y'all. We're gonna we're gonna do some trading real fast. That needs to go away. Um, take some of that. Take those. Take that. Take that. For next time. Uh, do we want to try and find out what happened to Gas Mask Lady's son? Um, who is probably in the Mushroom Forest. Is that something that we're interested in? I guess, are there any, like, side quests that we want to kind of check out before we fully continue through the game? Um, and, and finish it out. There, there, that's where the Molotov went. I'm just kind of gonna inventory manage while we contemplate. <gasps> Welcome back, Cyril. <laughs> um, I will sell that because we have plenty of those. Nah, game's still, game's still super squishy. Always squishy. I did de-goop the house, though, because we were not about that. Okay. Um, I am curious about the mushroom forest. Excuse you. I'm curious about the mushroom forest, um, so I think we'll do that next time. But that's about it. I don't imagine that will last very long. Um, no uptime for you. I don't have that one. It has been three hours and 35 minutes, though. We did get, we did get killed by a bad crate. It was extremely unfortunate. Um, let's, again, I don't necessarily want to do body recovery next time. Um, it's fine. It's 
it's not too terrible to get there. And then once we pick up our stuff, we can fairly easily just make our way up to the mushroom. Um, yeah, I know, but I just, that's such a long distance to, like, have to cover. But we've been doing, we've been doing pretty well, like, upon first re-entering the game, even after a long period of time. So I'm going in here to save the game. You can't see it, but we did just save. And I guess we'll call it there for this for this evening. I'm glad with the progress that we're making. I was expecting this section to last much longer than it has, but I guess we've kind of we did find a lot of stuff that I think was extremely optional in the original area that kind of preempted this bit. Um so yeah, good progress. Let's go ahead and find someone to raid. <laughs> um, thank y'all for being here and being wonderful and hanging out and chatting and just being cool. <gasps> thank you, Smiley. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Y'all are wonderful and I'm just, I'm... I'm super gra glad, glad, grateful, glad, happy, pleased <laughs> that I've met all of you and that we're all friends. But uh, I'm going to stop being super sappy and let's set up a raid. Y'all want to go hang out with Nimbly? <laughs> Nimbly's got some some uh, Animal Crossing going on, which seems like a really great way to just kind of end the spookiness. Um... Let's go say hi to Nimbly. Shmi's doing Horizon Zero Dawn. I did see that. Shmi's doing Horizon Zero Dawn. I do also have Mrs. Kiwi doing some Dead by Daylight. Um, ATM Zero is doing some Halo Infinite. Obsidian is doing some food and drink. I'm gonna I'm gonna start the raid for Nimbly though, unless any of those other ones or a new friend sounds better. I think everyone said on Nimbly. Let's go say hi to Nimbly. Um, <laughs> Nimbly's always always very fun, especially after a spooky a spooky stream. Uh, but anyway, take care of yourselves, guys. We will see y'all next time. Um, apparently, Fruity and Sarah are gonna do some fun stuff tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that. Um, take care of your ding selves. I love you. We'll see you next time. Bye.